Good evening, guys. Welcome back to Island Girl Gardening. This evening, I'm going to be harvesting some of our spinach. Um, we've already uh, harvested out of here one time, but now it is time to gather some more. So, um, just going to kind of go in. Just gonna put the leaves. Going for the bigger leaves right now, the ones that are on the outside. Because if you look and see the leaves growing on the inside here, you let those come in. So you take the ones on the outer. So I just clip the ones on the outer of each of the little bundles of spinach. It looks like it'll be a nice little harvest coming out of here this evening. Also, hope you guys had a good day. Tuesday, a week is progressing along, and I hope that you, those of you who are doing some gardening, that your gardens are coming along good. I'd like to hear some feedback from from you all if you are doing any gardening, as to uh, what you're harvesting, what's growing, what's going on. Always kind of interested to know about that too. This is not just about us, but us together, gardening, learning from each other, growing, succeeding at growing our own food. So, what kind of spinach are you growing? I do not know what type of spinach this is. This is spinach. Um, yeah. The giant <laughs> noble. Okay. He knew what kind of spinach it was, but I did not. I was unaware of what type of spinach this was. It is giant noble spinach. Um, I guess that's why the leaves are so big. They get kind of big. But um, yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of big leaves in here. See, he had a trick question. The young man behind the camera tonight because he planted the spinach, but I did not know what kind it was. I knew it was spinach. I didn't know what kind it was. But nonetheless, uh, we're gonna get some spinach up out of here. This will definitely fill up this container and then some. I think I'm also going to uh, get some Swiss chard out um, because that's doing really well also and I think maybe some arugula so we got some uh, little varieties of our greens coming out today and some good fresh greens for salads and other little dishes you might want to make with uh, your spinach and your Swiss chard um, so, I'm just going to clip some more of my spinach. I have to really clip a lot of it because it's quite a bit in here to clip. It is really growing wild, but that's good. This is good stuff right here. Love spinach. Okay. Probably smash down in my container here. I re we recycled this container so that we could put our spinach in it. It's a good little container. We'll keep some fresh, like I said, for salads and whatever recipes we might want to use some spinach in. And then we could also freeze some. The first bit of uh, spinach that I harvested, um, that we harvested. I did freeze some of it and it makes for a good little, it freezes well and um, and it still cooks up well once you have unfrozen it. Wouldn't necessarily use it for, I would not use it for a salad, I would only use this fresh. But frozen, you know, you can use that in your recipes when you cook it. Alrighty. righty. 
so this is our harvest of spinach tonight um, this is what we'll take in with us this evening as you can see still looking in the bed we still have a lot more that we can harvest but this is what we're gonna take tonight with us so moving on Go over here to the other side and get some more of our greens. I'm gonna pluck some of my Swiss chard, which is which is looking wonderful. These leaves have gotten really big too. So, same concept: cutting on the outer, cutting the leaves on the outer. This is the rainbow i believe is the name rainbow swiss chard you can see the colors in it the red and the yellow i think this is the rainbow version this is good stuff too and it kind of cooks up um if you haven't had it before it kind of cooks up like spinach does um and it's very good Or you can use them fresh like this and make you a good salad. These leaves feel really, really good. It's gonna make a good salad. Okay. Got some leaves thrown from the other side from uh, the man behind the camera. I guess he's, uh, he's helping me to uh, pluck some leaves here some of our greens from behind the camera so he's multitasking this evening okay it's pretty good at multitasking too he was using those scissors and holding the camera wow <laughs> it's pretty good <laughs> okay come on around here grab some more Swiss chard has a lot of vitamins and minerals in it, and it has a lot of potassium in it. If you need potassium in your diet, Swiss chard has a lot of potassium. There you go. Good for your greens. These are the good for your greens. Good for your body. Vitamins and minerals. Get that out of there. Alrighty. Well, we only bought two containers with us this evening. And both of our containers are full of greens. I think that looks good. Couple over here get. This is some red cell lettuce. This ready to be picked too. Yes, it is. And our arugula over there ready also. The arugula has a smoky, like burnt taste that I don't really care for, but <laughs> it is a very unique taste. This particular arugula. And then we also have our beet leaves also. And we have plenty of those to harvest also. I like to use those in salads. Also, very good. Or just eat plain. Like like that too. And that's uh, everything for our greens, really. And your carabias um, ready. I mean, it's really, really pretty big. And actually, this is my kohlrabi. As you can see, this is a nice size kohlrabi. And I was just recently reading that the kohlrabi leaves, you can also use those as a green. So I have to do a little more research on that. I'm gonna clip a couple of those and see what I can do actually with the kohlrabi leaves. Cook them, eat them, and how you eat them and all that good stuff. But I'll be harvesting Put the in my <laughs> um, probably at the end of the week. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do from the garden to the table. So I'm actually going to prepare the kohlrabi after I pick it. So that'll be a new segment um, that we'll be doing on our channel also from the garden to the table. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this evening right now. Um, as my cameraman moves on and I um, go to the side, he's looking at tomatoes right now. Our tomatoes are starting to come in. Those are our blue cream um, tomatoes that you're looking at right now. Um, we got Romas there in the middle. We got some money makers coming in. Black Beauty, Indigo Rose. So our tomatoes are starting to come in nicely too. So we're excited about the garden and everything that's going on. And actually the corn looks like it's starting to um, get some sprouts in it. So that might be um, our next exciting thing that's going to be going on. Our corn is going to be coming in. So everything's looking good. Everything's doing good. God has blessed um, the harvest so far. And um, we're looking forward to doing more gardening and hanging out with you guys. Thanks for watching. Um, like and subscribe to Island Girl Gardening. Have a blessed rest of your week. Bye.